Bonjour, I am Madame Marie. Our discussion today centers around immigration issues and how governments throughout the world regulate immigration. Earlier this year, we saw immigration of children traveling along across alone across the U.S.-Mexican border. More recently, massive immigration of families from Syria into Europe has shown the conflict between human rights and government responsibilities to, pro to provide for its own citizens. Our thinkers today are German Karen. First of all, I want to thank Madam Marie for hosting this. Uh, the refreshments are great. Okay, so I'm just going to start out my discussion with Thomas Hobbes. Thomas Hobbes wrote a book about a social contract in 1651. It was called the Levithon. And in it, he talked about how people and government make a social contract with each other. The people give up certain rights in exchange for the government providing them safety, order, and peace. However, immigrants can cause chaos, disorder, and unrest. Hobbes would argue it's the government's duty to prevent these immigrants from causing this social unrest and this chaos, this danger. And these are things that, that are not enjoyable to think about. They're not a pleasant reality, but no one has come up with a more efficient way to run government than a social contract. So this isn't a great solution, but it is a practical solution. It's acknowledging that humanity has certain flaws and that we have to come up with a system that can deal with those flaws. But the problem is that governments are violating the rights of these immigrants who are leaving very desperate situations. Back in 1690, John Locke wrote about this very issue in his book, Two Treatises on Government. Uh, two, two Treatises on Government. And in this book, John Locke ascertained that citizens had the right to life, liberty, and property. In 1776, Thomas Jefferson wrote about these same basic rights in the Declaration of Independence. By preventing immigrants from entering other countries, governments are actually violating the natural rights of members of the human race. Thank you for visiting the Salon today. Please come again next week for more interesting discussion. Au revoir. Au revoir.